A, year, a 15 year tradition has wrapped up all efforts to raise money and awareness for childhood cancer research. The fundraiser has somewhat of an unusual theme, its mission, to shave as many heads as possible. News 3's Jason Chauvin has more. It's called St. Baldrick's Day, Emily and Nick. It was great to see how the Western Illinois students and Macomb community members were able to come together for this cause. I talked to organizers of the event and some of the clean shaven participants. Tanner Hall and the St. Baldrick's Foundation have been teaming up for more than a decade and Complex Director Jerome Lester says that the event was originally just a hall program that evolved into much more. And then it became a staple of Tanner. And so now it's a capstone event that they put on every year, we put on every year. And so as the Complex Director, it's something that part of the legacy of the building in the hall. Their goal is to get more volunteers from the Macomb community and Lester used multiple ways of advertising to reach them. With our advertisement, we did a couple radio hits. Um, we create digital posters to put in some of the more up-to-date, whether it's Wendy's or something like that, some digital displays. And then we do the traditional paper poster flyers. Tanner Hall hosts the annual St. Baldrick's fundraising event. And since the year 2000, they have shaved nearly 552,000 heads. And each volunteer has a specific reason why they got involved with this charity event. A lot of members of my family have had cancer, um, so I feel like I'm a little bit obligated to give back, but it's, it feels good to give back to uh, cancer research and just uh, trying to find a cure. And Overall, Tanner Hall and community members have raised over $9,000 this year for the St. Baldrick's Foundation. Now, that's a lot of money raised here on this campus alone, but the St. Baldrick's Foundation has raised over $21 million in 2017, and it's only March. That's a lot of money going towards cancer research. Thank you, Jason.